Francisco de Saito é consultor executivo da Nippon Steel Corporation na área de pesquisa e desenvolvimento. Possui os títulos de Master of Science e PhD em Físico-Química pelos Institutos de Tecnologia de Nagoya e Universidade de Tohoku, respectivamente. Sua carreira na área de tecnologia em redução, incluindo caracterização de carvão utilizando NMR, pesquisa em processos de coqueificação e tecnologia em altos fornos, iniciou-se na usina de Iwawata, da Nippon Steel Corporation, em 1984. Foi gerente geral da Divisão de Tecnologia de Redução da Nippon Steel e Sumitomo. É autor de, no mínimo, 100 artigos publicados e 75 patentes. No momento, ele é um dos membros do Conselho Japonês de Ciência. Please, Koji Saito. Ok, hello everyone. My name is Koji Saito from Nippon Series. And uh, at first, uh, thank you all of the committee uh, giving me the opportunity to the, uh, uh, give uh, our talk uh, uh, in the uh, wonderful conference of the ABM and also at the Sao Paulo. So today my title is uh, Aiming for the Sustainable Steel Industry in German. And also uh, we have a uh, uh, side theme is the current status of the and the future impact on global environment in Japan. So this is my contents. At first, the current status of the Japanese steel industry from the viewpoint of the energy conservation. And second topic is the development of the coke making technology, especially plastic recycling in Japan. And number third topic is the development of the blast furnace technology, especially a dust recycling technology, RHF utilization. And number four topic is the national project of the COST-50. This is the CO2 emission reductions. And finally, I will conclude. So, this shows the Energy Conservation Initiative in Nippon Steel Corporation in Japan. So, at first, uh, maybe you can see, understand. At first, we uh, introduced a continuous casting in 1980, and also plus minus coal powder input, and also coal, coal moisture control technique also in the 1990s. And also, uh, we just started a gas holder generator and also generative burner, and also uh, we used the use of the waste materials. And finally, uh, we, uh, have, we started the waste plastics and tire and the biomass also. So it means uh, since the first oil crisis, steel industry in Japan achieved to the world top level energy efficiencies. And Nippon Steel Corporation played a role through the developing the new energy saving technologies. So for further CO2 reduction on global scale, drastic step by the innovative technology uh, deemed in December or in the long term. So this shows a breakdown of the CO2 emission from the fossil fuel combustion. So uh, side, side graph, uh, left graph is the total uh, CO2 emissions, 32.2 billion tons. And, and right figure shows that uh, in Japan's case, only 1.19 billion tons. So, and that is in and our steel making, make, steel making industries uh, uh, achieved to the 14 or 15 percent, especially in the case of the I am making it's nine or 11 percent like that. So Japan product emission response is only 33.8 percent of the global CO2 emissions. The industry segment of the account for the roughly one third of the CO2 emission in Japan. A half of them, about 14 or 15 percent, are from the steel industries. So this shows the energy efficiency in the steel making by countries. So maybe you can see, understand. So from the time of the first oil crisis until the 19, Nippon Steel Corporation intensively promoted the continuous processing and exhaust heating recovery and other measures all to enable the significant energy conservation. This has to the led to the Nippon Steel Corporation and Japan Steel industry as a whole achieving the world top of class energy efficiencies. Uh, maybe you can see uh, this, show, this show the Japanese counting and on the other hand, how, how about another country? Especially in Brazil, the much more uh, low efficiency, you can, as you can easily understand. So this shows the COP20 emissions reduction of the rate of the INDCs for Japan. 
So Japanese target for the reduction of the CO2 emission is 26 from the 2013 level in 2030. The target of the Japanese industry is a 6.5% reduction. So maybe you can easily understand. So this is year from 2030, uh, Japan have to have to reduce to the 20, to 26% like that. But how about the United States? Less, less than much more, less than the 20, about 20%. And also in the case of the, the EU also 24%. So Japanese target um, more ambitions on the emissions reduction rate that the United States and or European unions. So this is all the commitment to the low carbon societies. JISS commitment to a low carbon societies after the examinations. Japanese steel industry is supporting to the commitment to the low carbon society by fighting global warming with the three echoes. Three eco means that uh, eco process, eco process and eco solutions and eco products. So that with three echoes created during the volunteers action plan long, along the with cost 50. And from the, twen from the 2013 to 2020, we uh, uh, have to uh, keep that these kind of the activity, eco process, eco solution, eco products. And, but uh, from, from, from 2020, so we have to try to the new pro project, for example, the development of the revolutionary tree making process cost 50. This means that later I will uh, explain the in detail later. So there is a many, many issue about the environmental solutions in IMP process in Japan. For, so maybe you can see it. But today uh, we have uh, no time, so only as uh, this Waste plastic recycling and also uh, cost to RHF and also for cost 50. Oh, we just only three to topics, but easily understand. You are you are easily understand. There are many many items about the environment solution in IR making process. So uh, let's move to the uh, real uh, example about that. So uh, at first I will show you the plastic recycling in Japan. So we try to the use to the cork making process uh, to uh, utilize of the recycling plastic. So maybe easily understand. This is a gas collection waste and charging hole and the fuel and also this type. A pilot condition is about 1,100. So waste plastic recycling using cork oven. So there is a two point. One is the waste plastics are converted to the chemically used through the material in cork oven chambers. The second is the, the cork making process is equipped with the facility to recover useful products. So question is uh, one, what the products are the obtained? Second is does the cork collaborate, cork collaboration of the cork with the waste plastic affect cork quality? So this is a, a show the waste plastic pre-treatment process. So at first, the correct take the press button and open like that. That's a basic uh, this idea of the waste plastic like that. And so uh, when the metal removed here and crushing and uh, separators and remove to the PVC. This is the, because the PVC is a very uh, bad effect to the uh, coke oven. So then here and then, then again the crushers and then finally agglomerate and finally coke oven. This is agglomerate for the, for the recycling plastic. So if this shows the effect of the waste plastic addition on the coke qualities, uh, maybe you can easily understand there is no effect that. In the case of the drum index, uh, the left part, and also a, a right part of the CSR, this is a, one of the good, uh, one of the coke properties. But with with, with paste, with waste plastic and waste plastic addition of only percent is not not a, quite the same situation. So it means that there is no difference that. Uh, when we use the waste plastic in cork oven. So this shows the waste plastic recycling process plant site in Japan. So measure still works uh, with a brass furnace and cork oven. So in the case of the Mororan for Kimitsu and Nagoya, Yahada, Oita also. So there is another speed also. So this shows the mass and the unit price and the method for the recycling system in Japan. Maybe you can see it. there is a two, two ways. One is a plus furnace, and one is a, already I mentioned the coke process. 
So, but anyway, so maybe you can see that the podium is increasing, increasing, increasing. So, uh, in Japan, uh, the, we, we are get some money about the when we are used to the West Plastic system, for example, like that, like this here. Okay, next to the development of the blast furnace technologies, it means dust recycling in our speed making process. So, RH process for the dust recycling. RHF uh, stands for the rotary harness, furnace dust recycling. And we produce the DRI, is produced from the speed making dust. And also iron oxide and zinc oxide are reduced and recycling. And in Japan, especially in our companies, we have uh, eight RHFs are in operation. And some three of uh, RHF is uh, located at the Kimitsu, and another four is the Hirohata, and one is the Hikari Works. So maybe we can, maybe you can easily understand. We have dust collectors at the three uh, side, main sites, the Kimitsu, and the Hirohata, and the Hikari. And total capacity is uh, like here. So Nippon City Japan, Japan wide dust recycling system is uh, all of the many uh, studio works that produce the dust recycling. But uh, almost uh, the dust recycling from here to the, the gather of the Hirohata studio works. And the, the important thing is the efficient recycling by the dust pre-treatment and hot DI direct charging. And also another is the stimulated recycling of the iron and zinc. And finally, is a high quality blast furnace that the hot metal is produced and transferred over the BOF. So this shows the RH based of the dust recycling process. At first, here, from the raw materials and reductant addition and grinding and mixing and pelletizing and briquetting and RHF and zinc is reducing and make it a DRI. And finally, uh, let's move to the uh, transfer to the brass furnace, sometimes the SMP or some of the EOF. This, let, you can see, so this is the raw material dust, and this is the pellet, and this is the briquette, a DRI. So this is a, this shows the rotary harness the system. So a briquetting are uh, heated at the radiation from the high temperature furnace atmosphere. And also furnace temperature is uh, maintained by maintained high and natural gas combustion. But sometimes we use the COG gas or the BOG gas or the BOFG gas can be used. So this shows the mechanism of the major reaction in RHF. But uh, this is uh, very complicated that today there is a cutoff. So reduction, re uh, reduction reaction in RHF. Reduction process basically uh, to uh, topochemically. So iron oxide is reduced by the carbon mix inside the pellet briquette. Reduction reaction proceeds to the topochemically from the outside tower to the center due to the heat conduction controlling nature of the pellet or briquette. So we showed here. Basically, this is the briquette uh, that's before reducing, and then reaction occurs, and finally, we can get the, some DRI. So this shows the reduction of the ratio trend in the RHF. This shows the component of the RF, low dust and DRI. This shows the low dust, yeah, total Fe, fee at about only 62. But after that, we can get the very high total Fe. And also, they contain, contain the uh, metallic Fe also. And also, very carbon is a 4% like that. So, metallization is a very high, is about over the 80%. Right? So, DRI quality is a, represented by the percent reduction and the percent metallization. So, percent reduction and the percent metallization increase as the reduction proceeds. As carbon and oxygen are eliminated, we get weight uh, decreasing, dry porosity increase, and apparent thermal conductivity is declining. So, this is the comparison of the RHF and brass furnace. So, compared to the brass furnace and RHF, is able to utilize the broader range of the raw materials and reduce the oxide faster due to the direct gas supply from inside pellet. So it means RHF is described for the steel production using a low grade or non blast furnace applicable raw material. So it means the very important thing is blast furnace here and RHF. This is a combination. This is a sustainable uh, environment also. 
So, so uh, finally, uh, we move to the national project on the cost effectiveness. So, this project target is the development of the technology to the reduce the CO2 emission from the blast furnace. There is a three target. Technology to the con control reaction for reducing iron ore with a reducing agent such as the hydrogen to the decrease in the coke consumption in blast furnace. So second is a technology to the reform coke oven gas, COG, aiming to the applying to the hydrogen content is the utilize unused waste heat. And finally, the technology is to produce high strength and high reactivity coke from the reduction with the hydrogen. And second the target is the development of the technology to the capture or separate and recover CO2 from the blast furnace gas. Uh, the, there are the two technologies. Technique for, one is the technique for the chemical absorption and the physical absorption of the capture CO2 from the blast furnace gas. And second technology is uh, a technical technology to the reduce energy to the capture of CO2 through the enhanced utilize of the unused waste heat from the steel plant. So target is a 30% reduction of the CO2 in steel works until the 2050. So this shows the overview of the development of the post 50s. They're very complicated, but so uh, maybe you can see. One is the utilization of the hydrogen of the reduction of iron ore in blast furnace. Second of the reforming of COG by uh, using by uh, some uh, new catalysis. And second, third is producing the coke from the hydrogen reduction of iron ore. Fourth is uh, capturing and separating and recovering of the CO2 from the blast furnace gas. And finally, uh, recovering the unused sensitive heat. And finally, a uh, total process uh, evaluation. That is a very important thing. Oh, three. So this shows the R and D organization. So at first, the NEDO. NEDO stands for the New Energy and Industrial Technology Development Organization. It's a one of the national research and development agency. So NEDO and the commission, and there is a summer uh, cost 50s committee of the JISF, uh, support to the research and development activity of the five integrated steel comp companies. It means that one is a Kobe, Kobe, second is a JFE, third is a Nippon Steel, and Nippon Steel Engineering, and finally a Nishin Steel. So this is a development schedule. So uh, phase one, step one, just started the 28, and five years, phase one, step one, and next five, one, five years, phase one, step two. This, this target is the integrated development of the CO2 reduction technique. At the moment, phase two, that target is a practical development. And finally, uh, uh, we uh, transfer the, this kind of technique and also a commercialize of the first unit by the around 2030. And, and then, an industrialization and, and also a transfer. Cost 50 aims to the developing the technology to the reduce to the CO2 emission by approximately 30% through the suppression of the CO2 emission from the blast furnace, as well as the capture, separation, and the recovery of the CO2 from the blast furnace gas BFG, and establishing the technology by 2030 with the final goal of the industrialization and generating the developing the technology by 2050. So this is a typical uh, study of the uh, uh, concept of the iron or hydrogen reduction. Uh, the, this part is just for the conventional te technology in blast furnace. But in the case of the post 50s, so for carbon direct reduction, it's a large enzymic reaction. So this is reducing 10% about that. And on the other hand, is that the important thing that in hy hydrogen indirect reduction in free clean air, that is also an enzymatic reaction. But uh, it's a balance is a very important thing. So we developed the technology to the control reaction for reducing iron, iron ores by use of the hydrogen reductant to the decrease of the carbon consumption in Japan, in blast furnace. So this is our the target of the step two, but already uh, explained that. So 
Final target is a will conduct the integrated verification test of the ion or hydrogen reduction and CO2 separation and recovery from the blood furnace gas using the 10 cubic meter of the experimental blood furnace and 30 ton CO2 chemical absorption test plan. CAT 30 simultaneously in preparation for the practical development of the phase two. So this shows the configuration of the new experimental blast furnace. So maybe you can see this is a blast furnace, but they have only, PC, of course, a PCI system, also a gas generation system, and also a stockyard, gas cleaning facility, hot stove. It looks like a totally real blast furnace. And this shows the schematic in view of the new experimental blast furnace. They have, the on, they have only a one cup hole, but the only, and also they have only three tiers. But this is like a, what's a real, 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 real brass furnace. So this was a photo of the new experimental brass furnace in Kimiki C1. So this shows the construction of the new experimental brass furnace like that here. And also they have a, the neighbor of the CAT 30 is a CO2 capture system also. So this shows the summer result, pretest of operation and the result experiment of blast furnace. Maybe you can see this. The when we use to that, maybe carbon consumption is decreasing that. So the, our target is 30, 10 percent of the blast furnace in uh, 10 percent blast furnace in uh, 10 percent reduction of in blast furnace, but almost established like that. So this is the operation plan of the experimental blast furnace. But uh, already we done that. But, but only especially some case base operation and the injection of the shaft and the injection of the trigger on the gas recycling is totally at the target is a 3%, 4%, 8%, but already done. The almost almost uh, agreement on the, this kind of the, uh, test and also with the simulation technique. So I conclude the remarks of the cost lifted. Cost lift aims to develop a new de drastic CO2 reduction technology. The CO2 emission reduction target is approximately 30% in speed work. The goal of the project is to establish a CO2 reduction technology, which is a contribute technical to commercialize the first unit by around 2030 and to generate and the technology by 2050, considering the timing of the replacement of the brass furnace equipment. equipment. So finally, the conclusions. So again, the, I will show you the conceptual picture of the Japanese eco activity, ECO-3. So one is the uh, ECO process, of course, including the, our trial, increase of the some uh, pl plastic recycling and the dust recycling also. And also another is the uh, ECO product. It means uh, maximize the life cycle value. And finally, uh, ECO solution. That's a total solution and also uh, transfers our technology to the overseas. And also we have uh, some CO2 breakthrough technology. So, but the important thing is uh, we have to we have to go to the challenging on the towards the zero carbon city. So uh, that is a very important thing. Uh, the, it means uh, beyond 2030, Japan Japan's long term strategy. So we have to focus about the hydrogen, a vital mission. So it is a very difficult to the pathway to the towards the zero carbon steel. But well, this is uh, some chemistry or the because it, but it's very difficult that because someone is fast. So for example, the, when we uh, use the all of the hydrogen in blast furnace like that, this is unproven and also unexisting and also in experience. So it means a very very uh, huge and very difficult uh, problem is still remaining. And the roadmap for the zero carbon steel. So uh, JIFF has decided to develop the super, super innovative technology to realize the zero carbon steel, hydrogen replacing carbon and CO2 capture and main measures. And post 50 is the first step to the future. For hydrogen reduction, massive and stable supply of the carbon free hydrogen with a, a low, low standard cost is essential. So that first is target is here, is challenging the specific in iron and steel sectors, and another is the challenging the common in the social fundamental. Oh, again, this is post 50, the first step of the future. Already I experienced that. The target is 10 percent achieved. So how, 
how, how much of the hydrogen, so a requirement of, this shows the requirement of the hydrogen supply, the volume and here, 1.3 trillion as new normal cubic meter hydrogen per year for the worldwide iron production. Incredible data. And also cost. Cost is also very important thing. That is a cost equivalent for the carbon reduction and the carbon reduction in the iron making. So maybe you can see it. But the, the peak wave paper cost of hydrogen becomes the 7.7 .7 yen normal, normal, normal cubic meter hydrogen. So it's a very, high, very low cost level. But uh, at the moment, it's uh, maybe uh, uh, about uh, 10 times uh, cost on in the uh, uh, hydrogen production. So for conclusion, the challenge of towards the zero carbon steel, direction towards the achieving on the long-term goal of the Paris Agreement. And also we have to clear but very tough technical challenges. Technical issues to overcome in hydrogen reduction in iron making, also a huge and stable supply of the carbon free hydrogen with rotational cost is needed. Can cost fifty again the first step is to realize the zero carbon steel. Challenges are super the innovative technology for the realized zero carbon steel using the technology gained from the cost fifty. So sustainable development goal for the steel industry. So I think keyword is the two S plus 3E plus 5R plus 3C plus 1O. It means uh, safety, stable operation, and also energy, economic efficiency, and environment. And reduce CO2 also, reduce, etc. And reuse, and recycle, resources, and research and development and engineering. And C, C is a CCUS on collaboration and communication. And finally, we need the outgoing. So, final conclusion. Looking ahead to 2020, the Japanese steel industry will be the first in the world to begin using relatively new advanced energy conservation technologies. The Japanese steel industry will continue to focus on the development on the revolutionary iron making technology for environment solution and also energy conservation to the contribute to the conserve energy with more efficient steel production process and achieve to the low carbon society. We will tackle various problems surrounding the iron making through the maximum use of the most advanced technologies and will increase Japan's world leading energy efficiency towards 2050. Thank you for your attention.